everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is your friendly neighborhood fisherman Raznak. And no, this isn't fishing Barrett Sea, it's still fishing North Atlantic. You can see we have our little the little selfie. Our little selfie. Um, or otherwise known as I think the Eugene S. Crabs is what I named it in Fishing Parent Sea. Um, but I found it. Uh, I was out kind of riding around the map and I found it hidden in the game. So now we can buy it. And it was only like $295,000. So I bought it. It's the fastest, fastest ship in the game. And it's really great for like exploring and running around and doing all kinds of stuff. But I don't feel like doing that. Right, I was in the, like this fisherman mood, and, and I, I watched uh, the Perfect Storm with George Clooney and Mark Wahlberg, and I can't remember who else. But it's a great movie, and it's kind of about these guys out of Glow Gloucester, Massachusetts, who, you know, well they go fishing and die. <laughs> it got me in the spirit. I want to do some sword fishing, because that's kind of what they're fishing in that game is swordfish. So I want to do some sword fishing. And I thought, we try to find a ship that looks as close to, like, the Andrea Gale. Kind of like what they were using there. So, let's jump into the ship. I have 1.235 million. I've got tons of money. Uh, so, let's go in here. And this one right here. This is the Ocean Runner. Uh, it's kind of... It's it's not exactly kind of what they were using. But it's, it's similar. And it looks very familiar to what was in the movie. And I was like, oh, I'm going to buy that. Uh, and you can do, we can do long lining, we can do net, we can do lobster fishing, we can do all kinds of fishing with it. It's only $695,000. Room for, for four crew members, so we can have a good bunch of people with us. 600 horsepower. Max speed's only 10 knots. She's slow. She's a slow girl, though. She's really slow. Uh, fuel tank's pretty pretty decent size. But it holds um, 88,000 pounds from buy it. Went ahead and bought it. Did. And bought it. Upgrades. Uh, first things first, let's do rigging. I don't want to do long line. I want to do some deep line fishing. Although, I think in, in the movie, they were long lining for... Um, for swordfish, I can't remember now. I don't know. I just remember running like lines out the back of their boat, and connecting hooks to it. So I think that's long lining. I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong, and I usually am. So I went ahead and rigged it up for deep lining. Let's go to fish market, fishing gear. You can buy a bunch of deep lines. We can hold 40. That's probably a. I'm just gonna buy them all. We just bought all 40 them. We're gonna bait them all. Like I said, I want to do some. I want to do some sword fishing, so we're gonna bait them all in squid. Every one of them. It's only 320 dollars. Ooh, that ding was loud. Ding. It's kind of loud. Uh, go back. So we got all of our all of our stuff baited up here. Uh, crew. At the crew house. We need these two people, and then we're gonna hire we're gonna hire a couple more, a couple more folks. We need some good. Uh, I, I'm, I just look at the rig. Graham Oakley. Graham looks like a good hardy feller. Yeah. Yeah. This that's slap. Why are they a different? Nora, Sadie. Let's see overall score. Graham. Graham at 111. Pot hauling cooker. He's really good. He's a good fisherman. Good solid fisherman. That's higher Graham. And so Emma's not all alone. Um, which one's got better, Nora? Man, but see, her stamina is great at eight, but hers is horrible at two. I didn't even look at that. Sadie's is three. And that that good stamina. I can build them up. You know they can. They can, that stamina is, is really good. I didn't even look at the other guy's stamina. We're getting Pearl. Pearl's like, look at her. She's got a stamina eight. She just never quits, man. Pearl, Pearl just never quits. Let's see, seven, eight. See, Graham's stamina is like 
this. Dude, come really? Your stamina's only two? You're such a good high paid fisherman. Hopefully it gets better. Should have looked at that. And the girls are tough as nails. Good good hardy. Hardy fishing ladies. Alright. Uh, let's go back. Alright, we got a crew and we got our boat and we got our fish. Let's go to the bar. See if there's any tips. Mackerel, redfish, no silver hate. Nope, none of that stuff matters to me. We are gonna upgrade um we are gonna upgrade the, the boat. We're gonna upgrade it completely. We're spending a bunch of money. I know, I know we're spending a bunch of money. I don't care. We'll make it all back, don't you worry. Get us a good radar so we can see stuff coming. Autopilot, yeah, I've been using that. A fishing quota, fish sonar. Upgrade your fish, sea fish at greater depths. 1.3 nautical miles. I mean, we really don't need to see below 250 meters. We don't. We don't. Not yet. But, so we don't need a buoy. I like the fancy buoys with the lights and the beacons and stuff. You know, don't hate me because I like it. Ooh, gutter. Oh, we can get a gutting machine. Automatic guts are ten times faster than if performed manually. Yeah. Heck yeah. Although we're not going to use it right now, but we want it. Searchlight. Yep. Good high thrusters. Ooh, this one has side thrusters. Sure, why? Let's just go ahead. $246,000 worth of upgrades. The old girl here. Maintenance. Change the name. It's called the Ocean Runner. I was, I was thinking about naming it the Andrea Gale, but, but I was like, eh, that might not be a good idea. Um, Ocean Runner. Ocean Runner. Nope. Um, what do we want to call it? What do we want to name it? We want to name it. Um,. Oh, man, I don't know. I don't know. Ah, we'll come back to that. You guys will have to think of a name. Think of a name for this one. I, we can't name it the Andrea Gale, because, like, that'd be really bad if it sinks. Not to mention those poor souls that actually did lose their lives. All right, let's jump at the map real quick. So we're here in Lockport, and I've been having a lot of luck fishing down here. In fact, here's a, some four fi swordfish from three days ago. In this deep water. We, we're running deep lines, so we have to run everything in 100 feet or deeper. So, like, all this is okay, all this is okay, this is all okay, this is all okay. This is really deep water for trawling. I don't, I've never, I've been, I was out there kind of goofing around with the radar on, and I didn't see many, like, fish. There's tuna here but on this flat, but that water is not deep enough. Uh, even if there are tuna, our deep lines aren't going to work that well. So I think we're going to head down here south of the wind farm and uh, and do that. Now, if you're wondering where this game is at, okay, see over here, over here on the side where it says cod, mackerel, red, all this over here. Imagine this is Maine. That's kind of where we're at. There's there's an area. If you look at the uh, look at the map of the United States, here's Maine, and then you go between that. There's you know big water, open water area, and then you got Nova Scotia over here. This is actually it's just off the coast. So we're fishing in interna uh, international waters, I believe, or Canadian waters. I'm not quite sure. Off you know between Maine and Nova Scotia. That's where we're at up in there. It's pretty cool. Pretty neat stuff. Um, yeah, let's get to work. Oh, this thing has side thrusters, doesn't it? Can't remember. Is it Z? Yeah, it's Z it does the side thrusters. So you can turn them all the way up and look. Look how our little boat's like drifting out slowly. It's drifts out away from the side. They're not very, um, not, they're not that cool. It's kind of a wasted twenty-five thousand dollars, if you ask me. Yeah, man, look at this is a big old this is a big old vessel. Let's look inside this thing. Oh, look at this got like a little. We're gonna we're gonna, happy Canada Day. This is a really cool little. This is a cool boat. We're gonna check this one out here. 
Oh, slow, slow, slow. Slow your roll there, Bessie. Okay. Uh, let's head down here to the wind farm real quick. 11.2 nautical miles. Man, we used up a little bit of fuel. Uh, it So it does use twice as, or 50% more fuel if you, um, if you, uh, lights on. Okay, here we are at the windmills. Is that cool? If you fast travel, it uses 50% uh, more fuel for some reason. Let's get up and walk around our new ocean liner. I could fish, but you guys know. Look at this. It's fancy. It's fancy living right here. Travel around the world. The story of Nova Scotia. This is a really cool boat. It's got all these little neat little touches here and there. Very cool little cooking area. Where's my crew at, though? I have four crew on. Look at the flat panel. This is like, this is living right here. I like this. I don't know where my crew went, though. Maybe maybe they go down this way. Maybe the sleeping quarters. Yeah, living quarters are up here, but you go down in this hold right here to take a nap. Or Actually, I think that's where the engine is, but I could be wrong. But it's really nice. I like it. It's a really cool looking boat. Pretty cool. Got some coolers for beer here. Oh, right here. I bet you they go down in this way. This is where they go down. Right there. Little ladder down here into the hold. They can, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like making up stories. Okay. Um, let's do another little... Uh, we're gonna fast travel right down to here. 10.30 at night. We're gonna see how many fish we can bring in. And then what I've been doing is I turn on autopilot. I run me, so the swordfish are here, so I'm going to run between there and the swordfish. Crank your engine all the way up. Yep. This one. And our ship. Yeah, as long as we have autopilot engaged, it'll start, it'll start running. Now, we need to get somebody on... phone to call my crew. Oh, right here. There it is. So let's get, um, I want somebody to prepare the gear. Let's get the new guy, Graham, because he doesn't have much stamina. So we'll get him out on the deck. And he'll be out here on the deck preparing the gear. Oh, there's some swordfish here. We're not ready to set a deep line. Now, uh, so there's some conflicting information I found out there on YouTube. People on YouTube said I should drop my line here in the middle. Other people, the game says here. That's okay. We're just going to start dropping. We'll just start dropping deep lines. There's a pretty good amount of swordfish here. See swordfish here. Wow, this is a really good habitat. This really is a really good habitat. All these swordfish here. Now, in my, in, in my off-camera playing, I've, I've noticed that I get around a really good line is 2,000 pounds. Um, so with 40 lines, it'll put us at 80,000. So we should be able to fill up. So that's all the swordfish. I'm, I'm just watching, watching down here for swordfish. That's what we're doing. You can see our water depth is getting pretty deep. Pretty deep. Actually, do the 250 meter. So yeah, the water water's getting pretty deep through here. I really don't do well in really deep water. I my, I do the best like in here. And then this area right here has been really good fishing. So we'll we'll keep running here a little bit to see if we see any more. But you can see we already have three deep lines set here let them sit for about 20 hours. Just watch them down here at the bottom. See if I see any swordfish. Tuna. Tuna. Redfish. Pollock. Silver hake. 
lobsters. That's haddock. But yeah, watching that movie, I really got in the mood to uh, do some sword fishing. It was. But yeah, in the movie, they had like three guys. They had guys here. They had a, guy, a long line running. And they were baiting it and slapping hooks onto that line as it ran out. Which kind of makes me think of lawn lining. Where these are just single deep lines attached to a buoy. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not seeing any... Uh, not seeing any swordfish though. I'm not. I'm not seeing any guys. I'm a, little, I'm a little nervous. Deep water just is not paying off for us. Tuna. I'm seeing tuna. There's tuna. There's you know mackerel, redfish. There's a bunch of tuna. No swordfish though. Oddly enough. She's traveling at 13 knots. She's a little faster than Lenore. A little bit. It's a, just, it's a really cool looking vessel. If you ask me. It's just really neat. It's real wide. It's, they, uh, in reading, it's very stable in rough water. It can be very, very stable. Alright. That's not working. So let's, uh, let's fast travel down to here. See if we find any swordfish here, because apparently they're. I paid a, paid a guy a thousand bucks at the bar. He said there was swordfish here. He better be right. Now that was three days ago, and the habitat moves, so I probably missed it. Got some fish on the radar here. Sword. And it moves, I think, northeast to south is the way the game moves. It kind of moves this way. So the fish should be along this line, I'm hoping. I can only be so lucky. No. Man, no swordfish. This is really, really disappointing. Very disappointed. Truly am. This is a lot like the movie. <laughs> they couldn't find any fish. They had to go way out, way out to the fleshing caps. Lots of fish. Lots of weather. Says the old guy in the bar. I remember that scene. The ladies were like, whatever. He's like, yeah, I'm just in a little bit of a movie. Yep, I'm not finding any. No swordfish, man. No swordfishes at all out this way. Really? Oh, there's one. Really frustrating. No. Line here. We're getting it. Maybe that was just like the little tip of it. Man, I can't believe we're not finding any. struggling here. Yeah. Well, I, you know what I'm going to be doing for the next little bit? I'm going to drive around this map. I'm going to set 40 of these freaking deep lines to try to find these swordfish because I watched a movie. And really I watched the movie because I've been playing a fishing game. <sighs> I'm such a nerd. <laughs> Alright, when I find some fish, I'll be back. Let's see you in just a second. Alrighty, all my uh, all my lines are set. You can see, I've uh, covered a pretty big chunk of land or land, <laughs> pretty big area here. Um, yeah, I started here, kind of went down this way, and then did this little zigzag and back up and around. So we're gonna see we're gonna see what kind of luck we have. We're definitely gonna see what kind of luck we have. I'm gonna kill the engine. And, uh, uh, I think who was Emma was a pretty good cook. But Emma to cooking. We need some food. Cook away there, Emma, my dear. That's what we're gonna do. And then uh stop driving. It's my clock. Oh look! Hi Emma. Don't cut your hands off. You're kinda crazy with that knife. 
Uh, okay. It's just kind of wildlife in Nova Scotia. Somebody's phone. All right. All right, Emma. They're, they're just kind of blank, aren't they? Um, somebody was sitting here playing, playing game. They were gaming. They are gaming away. All right. So where's the clock here? Let's, we're gonna, 16 hours. And boom. There we go. Uh, Emma made up four meals, so we're good there. But she's tired, so we're going to let her rest. Now it's time to haul in the fish. That's right. Uh, so we're going to slap Mikhail Graham on. Because I don't feel like doing it myself. Good thing about, about swordfish and stuff, you don't have to gut them. Although in real life, I think you do. Look at them. Look at them. They're posed and ready. <laughs> they say. Let's grab our first one. How long has it been in the water? 19 hours, 45 minutes. That's that's pretty pretty close. Close, close enough. You want them in? You want them? It seems like everything in this game is 20 hours. Like the magic number is 20 hours. Although with the deep lines, you you can get a bite after an hour, but that that only means one of the hooks on that deep line got got bit. So. It seems like you catch more fish when you're on there for like 20 hours. Bring them in, boys. Bring them in. Oh, this is pretty cool. <laughs> Bring that swordfish! They need help. They need like three or four people on there. That's a big old fish. Here comes the next one. <laughs> Get them, fellers! We got, we got three on the line here. That's a three. Counting three. Let's see how many... How many pounds we took on those? Four, 1,459. That, that's pretty good. Like I said, I've been averaging, and again, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I've been averaging between 1,500 and 2,000 pounds per line, per deep line. So if we catch, I'm hoping to fill our hold at 88,000 pounds. I hope we have some pretty good ones at 88,000 pounds. So we'll see. Yeah, with a full crew, all you have to worry about is just uh, driving the boat. You don't have to get out here and hook them. I mean, we can, but we've already done it. I mean, there's a little mini game. You stab them in the head, bring them on board. This this way is pretty fun because you can actually watch them, watch them line in and all that stuff. Get rid of this. That. Bring them on, fellers! Yeah, there's some clearly some graphical glitches um, but really all in all the game is playable uh, there's some bugs and there's there's some graphical glitches and some other stuff but for the most part it's fun it's a fun game it's not too hard once you kind of figure out the game mechanics see we only got 953 pounds of fish on that one so good one. those were small swordfish once you figure out the game mechanics, and that can be kind of tough, but really the tutorial, there's so much information in it. And I think a lot of people, or not the tutorial, but the wiki, there's so much information in it. And yeah, you have to read. Sorry, I've been reading some people like in Steam and stuff, they're like, oh, they're, I, I can't figure out how to do anything. And I don't want to read the instructions. It's like, well, then what the heck's the point of playing the game? Like right here, it talks about fish sonar. And see, all the YouTubers I've, I've watched that play it, they kind of drop it middle right here. But like right here, it tells you position of fish sonar on the boat, best time to set fishing gear, last chance to set fishing gear. So if I'm setting here, am I missing them? But man, look at all these. But that's a thousand meters. See, this, this is misleading. You're seeing all the fish within a thousand meters of your boat. That's not. It should be set to 100. I think to get a more accurate prediction of the size of your fish, you know. Um, but yeah, you can zoom in and out, all that good stuff. But yeah, it's 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 worth definitely worth checking out. But it talks about autopilot and gutting and long lining. It gives like these little videos, so people are like, "Oh, I, they don't even show you how to do anything in the game." Well, read. Dude, 
Read. It's, yeah. Sometimes you gotta do that. You gotta read. See, there's still fish showing up on some more here. So I'm hoping we can grab a couple of them. Come on, get in there! What do we got on the line? A three? Two. Only two on that line. Oh, man. Really? Really? Come on. I gotta get better at this. Only 822 pounds. Sad day, folks. Sad day. Just not, not doing as well as we could. Sad day. We'll still bring in some money. Plus, I think uh, the price of uh, swordfish and tuna going way down because I've been catching it a lot. So th there is a dynamic economy. You actually have to change. So probably after this run, we're not gonna. There's just, it's not gonna be worth it to go out and grab the swordfish because we'll be sending it under market. In fact, the season's almost over with. So I think we have until November to catch swordfish. Got three on the line there. Tell by their rainbow heads. <laughs> I do wish that if you weren't playing the mini game, that that wasn't there. That you just saw the fish. I think that'd be pretty cool. I love I love watching them haul it in. You see the windmills in the background. The northern lights above above. Oh, that's a tuna. It's a big old blue fin. Grab one every now and then. We still that's still in season. I see fifteen hundred pounds of fish there. Uh, tuna are in season for about uh, nine, ten more days. So we're not out anything if we if we lose out on that. Oh, set our autopilot again. Spin around here to five. You can kind of imagine what I'm going to be doing for the next little bit. I'll go ahead and get all of the deep lines brought in, and then I'll get you a total. That way you guys kind of know how I did with 40 deep lines. Uh, squid... Just so we can kind of see if, you know, do we do we really need 40 with this boat? Is 40 too many? It's, it seems like it's going to be kind of really close to enough, if not many. There's a tuna. There's a tuna. Swordfish on that one. Struggling. Of course, I'd, I'd get more. Oh, no, there's a swordfish. I would get more if I did it myself, but just it's more kind of like a thought experiment. Anything? Is that the last one? It says 1,500 pounds, but I think that was the last one. No, nope, no, another 1,500 pounds. That wasn't a bad one. Those were, those were two, two big fish. There was only two fish on there. They were pretty big. <laughs> oh, let's grab one more. Well, we'll grab one more, and then I'll, then I'll zoom away, and we'll do a bunch of this off camera, and then give you guys the totals of our of our movie, our George Clooney The Perfect Storm inspired fishing session. <laughs> Here on the ship with no name. It's called the Ocean Runner right now, but we need a name for it. Definitely need a name for it. I, I don't know. I haven't come up with one, but we do need one. We do need a name for it. That one, that line came in fast. Like you can see, it's kind of buggy, kind of glitchy, but it's still fun. It's still fun. Really fun game to play. Oh, that's, that's, I'm feeling this is a good one. 1,500 pounds. So, I, I think with all 40 lines, we're not going to fill our hold, but we'll end up with about 60,000 pounds of fish. And if I remember right, um, that's how much the Andrea Gale had on it. it sank. I'm really, really. Uh, I shouldn't make light of that because that stuff's based on a true story, and those people really did die. So we should actually. I shouldn't joke about it. It's funny how uh, sometimes things are very similar. Alright, gonna jump away, do some fishing. When I get it all caught, I'll be back. Alright, time to haul in the last line. And the catch wasn't as good as I was hoping. Look at that, 41,000 pounds. That's really not a whole lot. Just kind of ran over that buoy, didn't I? Um... Yeah, that was, it wasn't very good. And I think here at the end, I started only catching like one fish on each line. And I think the reason why is because they were in the water too long. Because there, the last one was in the water 24 hours. 
So, what did we learn? I think we learned don't set all 40 at one time. Sorry, we have 47,000. This is how much I have left. So we caught 47,000 pounds. But yeah, I think in the future... Oops, they're done. So they can go rest. Um, Graham quit. I had to bring Emma out on deck. So that, you know... If I would have done it myself, would I have caught more fish? Yes. Also, I really think best way to do it with the 40 deep lines is maybe set 20 of them leave those in for 10 hours set the other 20 then that way you have like a 10 hour gap where you can pick up the first 20 and then you have that optimal 20 hour you know 19 to 21 hour window where you get your optimum yield off of the fish i think also in the future i'm going to try you know, everything I saw on, online YouTubers said, said it here, but I think I'm going to go with what the game says about using the sonar. Where's it at? Fishing tools, fishing sonar, right here. I think that's where I'm going to, I'm going to aim to set right here. So as soon as I see the fish, pretty much I'm going to hit my button. That's what I'm going to try the next time I do deep lining, which I may be done do, doing deep lining because I, while I was traveling around the map, I looked. And fish prices, yeah, there they go. Fish prices for, take all these away. I mean, they're way down. For swordfish and tuna, there's Yarmouth. Between 70 and 60, Lockport. Lockport. The tuna price is a little better there. Ingles Head. Dig B, Dig B, both fish are about the same price. Dennis Point way down, so I don't want to go to Dennis Point. I'll, I'll be just, I'll just go to Yarmouth. But yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to set here. I don't know, I could be really, I could be wrong. Could be way wrong there. All right, let's travel into. Uh, yeah, Dennis Point. Sale price was horrible. So we'll travel to Yarmouth. Seven hours and 47 minutes. We're going to fish on ice for a while. 11.9 nautical miles. Let's see what kind of take we got here. I'm not guilty. I think that's all. Ooh, she's a little heavy. I mean, sit. Ooh, bobbing and weaving. Rolling, rolling waters. Fish on board. Would you like to sell them? Yes. Okay, still not bad. <laughs> Look at that. $474,649.87. Uh, I get a little bit because my port reputation is up, but you can see uh, swordfish prices are around average. So they're not great. Swordfish and tuna prices are dropping, but I've sold a lot of it, and that's probably why. Look at these. Look at the crew shares. Graham got almost 12,000. Emma got almost 8. Mikhail got over 14. I guess he's my second mate. Uh, Pearl, she got 7,200. Not not too bad for... Uh, but yeah, 8% of my money went to my crew. Jeez. We caught 76 swordfish and 15 tuna. Total weight of 38,000 pounds of swordfish worth $431,000. Holy cow, I'm in the wrong business. And then tuna, 9,282 pounds, total revenue, 84,000. I mean, this is the price per pound? That can't be real. $11.34 for a pound? I don't know. Swordfish is kind of expensive when you get it at a restaurant. Tuna is not so much, but that's bluefin tuna. That's different than like, canned tuna. All right, sell it. Boom. There we are. For, now we're up to $695,168. And that was pretty fun. That was a fun little run. I had a lot of fun with that. I was trying to see. Backstabber, the Dexter. Look at this thing. That's a trawling boat. Five million. Five million. Million dollars. The coaster. It's a crab boat. Which I think this is, um, 
Yeah. Coastern is crab boat based on the well-known crab boat called North, the Northwestern and is rigged for... So this is a, like Sig Hansen's boat, I think, from Deadliest Catch. That's what that one is. Just do snow crab with it. Dexter, backstabber. Alright. Well, that's it for me. That's it. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I did. I had tons of fun hanging out here with you on the new our new ship. Just make sure uh, in the comments, give it a name. It's a name, the Ocean Runner. Something, something interesting. Something interesting. And I really liked it. I was happy I watched that movie. Again, The Perfect Storm with George Clooney. I think it's from the year 2000 for all you young pups out there. Uh, it's a really, really good movie. It's about um, hurricane. Uh, it's about a hurricane and a, a storm coming together off the coast of uh, Massachusetts and Maine. Uh, up where we're fishing at right now. It kind of created what they called the perfect storm. It's a really cool movie to watch. All right, everybody. Until next time, take care. Stay safe. See you later.